everybody, Teching here. Um, all right, so our little project that we're going to be working on tonight, uh, when I say tonight, it's like, what, 9.55? I got home from work. Anyway, um, remember back, I mean, if you're a fan of my videos, like, from, like, the very beginning, like, when I started doing the Bleach reviews, like, back in 2011, when I started with the Fullbringer arc, um, in which case, I don't know whether to feel, I don't know whether to give you a standing ovation or to you just send flowers to your next of kin. But anyway, uh, there was a running gag I did for the Fullbringer arc, whereas whenever one of the Fullbringers were to die, I put up a memorial plaque dedicated to their honor. And I remember that thing because I had to keep, I, I, there was a couple times when I thought Yukio was dead and I had to keep putting him up on the wall and taking him down. I'm like, fuck Yukio, just die already. So uh, I didn't know what was up with him and I, and I had that up there. And uh, some people have been asking me, uh, you should do the same thing, but with the Stern Ritters. And I'm thinking like, okay, well, I mean, there were only like, okay, let me see. There was like Gin Josuke. Shima, Giriko, Ryuka, Jackie, Yuki. There was like like six or seven uh, full bringers if you include Chad in that mix. But there's like there's like over twenty. There's twenty six letters, but there's more than that because like Yuha and Uryu have the letter A, and Royd and Lloyd had the letter Y. So and we don't know what else is the deal with the Stern Raiders. So there's more than twenty six Stern Raiders. So I figured, okay, if we're gonna do this, we gotta make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, so I already have a basic outline on how we're going to do this. So right away, we have the title right here, the Stern Raider. I had to get out of that out of the way just so I can get a basis on how much room I'm going to have to work with on here. Um, then we're going to have these little markers here on the side and on the bottom, which basically, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, right here, there, there's some on the bottom here. And basically, what those are going to indicate is how much room I have to work with with each space because I had to work this out. So... Um, as we are now, I have uh, basically four by eight, so that's about twenty. Uh, th well, it'd be thirty-two spaces with uh, twenty-four being the first rows, and I'll take care of the last two on the last line. And how we're going to do this is, I drew little caricatures of the letters that we're going to be working with here. See. And I'm basically going to fill them all in here, as well as the ability name after, uh, underneath the letter, and uh, the stylized letter, and then the name of the person that occupies that. Now, the issue here being the ones that we don't know yet, like C and L and M. Um, for those ones, I'm just going to draw the letter. I'm not going to stylize it, because I, I have no idea what their powers are going to be. And we're just going to have to work with that, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so it's probably going to be a long-ass video, so let's just get to this. All right, so letter A. This is where we. This is going to be the basis for the entire fucking board. So I better not mess this up here. Okay, I kind of already went over the border on the bottom. So shit. But you know, whatever. We can work with that, right? Um, okay, so for A, we already start off with an issue with A here because we have no idea what it's called as well as uh, what ability it entails. I was actually going to draw a stylized cape like flowing from the A, like Yuha's cape. But then I started thinking, it's like, well, Uryu's the A too, so that might not have nothing to do with the power. I mean, personally, I think the power is the absolute, but I have no idea what it's going to indicate, and I don't want to throw in something indicative just of Yuha when Uryu also has the power. So I don't know how they're going to work that out later. But for now, let's just throw in down here, Yuha slash Uryu Ishida. And I'm already going over the border down here, but I, I I'll have to I'll have to make it up at some point. I'll make something shorter. I, I there's I left myself a little bit of a little bit of cheat room down here, so I could be I could mess with it. All right, moving on. We got Hugram Hashwolf, and of course, even though this one was a little bit, I was gonna. Um, actually design it like a scale. I was going to have like the B turned like sideways and I could draw like a line down the middle to make it look like a pair of scales. But yeah, I wanted all the letters to be straight like right away. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to color the, I'm going to color some of these in. Uh, but yeah, so for B, let me just color this in really quick with a Sharpie here. And some I'm going to do certain colors, some I won't. Um, you know, all depending on how that's going to work here. But we'll just color this one in. Because you, you, uh, you, Hashwalt is a pretty important Stern Raider, so I better yeah, do this like that. And then, just for the sake of... I'll, I'll clean this all up later. This is just a rough outline. And then, for this one, we're going to draw... Take the yellow marker out here. I'm going to draw like a little you know, yellow thing down here. And basically a scale. And when that's not really scale, because it's not weighing in rel relative to anything else, but, you know, that's the best I got here. So, uh, we don't know explicitly what the B stands for, but it's very, very apparent that it's the balance. And I'm probably... I, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this with all of them, with all the space I have to work with here. This is already starting off shitty. 
Ridge, Ugram, Hushwolf. All right, C is one we, of course, do not know. Theories on this one, I've heard. Oh, okay, we, oh, wait, no, we are on track. Holy crap, okay, we managed this. Okay, don't screw this up, Matt. All right, so theories on C, I've heard range from the the um, the, the creator or somewhat. I, I'm personally going to go with um, the cold just to have a contrast to, uh, you know, Basby because, you know, he's the heat. And I started thinking, like, Really, like, we have a thunder chick, we have a fire guy, we, we need a guy that can manipulate ice and snow. I mean, that's just, you need one in each arc, in, in each group of the main villain. But, of course, we know nothing about that, so we're going to be moving on to the D. Okay, now we're back on track. Here we go. The D. Which is something else we have no idea about. And these, the Sharpie fume is already starting to get me a little bit out there. I really didn't plan on coloring these all in. I was going to leave some of them blank, but then I started thinking, and then we'd have a board full of kind of, they'd be kind of boring to look at. I'm, I should color some of these in, but, you know, these ones we don't really, I mean, B's, you know, whatever, but C and D we don't know anything about, except for the fact that it is, in fact, Askin, Nak, Levar, Kubo, you deliberately gave these guys long-ass names, and that's really screwing me up. Okay, moving on to the one we do know now. Here we go. We got, let's see, draw a little bit of that there, a little bit down there. Probably should broaden this out then. It's better. Let's see here. Let's a fly in here. The E. You know, watch at some point during this entire run, I'm gonna screw up in terms of the letters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something in there that's not supposed to be. I'm gonna be like A B C D Q. What? All right. So Bambietta is of course the explode, and I was gonna draw an outline like an explosion of red and, and to indicate an explosion, but we also have Basby coming up for the fire, so I'm actually gonna keep her with blue because as we've established, number one, her ability is Reishi bombs essentially, and also the Sternrunners seem to fire out. Um, you know, the blue fire, that's kind of a theme of them that they used to pretty much nuke Lost Noches and, uh, and the Soul Society during the first invasion. So we're going to use blue for this explosion here. And then we'll color all this in. I don't know if I should color it out. I'll just, I can speed up this part if it gets too boring. Also, I'm using a Sharpie when it comes to the... Uh, when it comes to the actual letters and the Sharpie, you know, they, it, it dries relatively fast when compared to regular markers. So that's it. All the other markers I'm using for this, like not, this is not professional grade shit at all. This is crap I got at my dollar store. So, you know, that's, that's how that goes. I'm probably not even going to end up using these markers on the side because I'm already kind of going a little bit. Well, no, we should be, on, no, this should be D right here. So I already kind of messed that up. But, uh, you know, we'll go as much as we can. If we can fit, actually, no, given the rate we're going right now, if I can fit, like, nine on a single row, that would make it go immensely easier, you know? Uh, so we got that. And I have designs for all of them already planned out. I'll just go along the line and tell you what I thought of how I did certain ones here. The Explode. So, yeah, she's a zombie now. That's, uh, that's cool. Don't know how Kubo's going to go with that, but, you know. You figure she's a zombie, she could have looked a little bit cooler if there was, like, I don't know, like, a piece of her skeleton, like, showing or some shit. Like, all that happened was, like, her skin was a little darker and, you know, her clothing was a little bit in tatters, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'm debating, you know what, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start naming all this stuff with my pen instead of that, because at least with my pen you'll be able to read it. The Explode. I, I used to think it's The Exploder, but now, The Explode. Bambietta. Bastard of Bine. Alright, so that's that. Moving on. Uh, F. Yes, F's a good one. F's gonna be fun. He's our old buddy, Asnot. We love our buddy, Asnot, don't you? It, 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 it's hard not to love the guy. He's just a child's, you know, he's a, he, you know, action figures of him are pending, you know? He's gonna be the hot new Christmas item. Hey kids, come get yourself a stuffed as not. If you squeeze them enough times, the fear goo comes out. And you have to buy little re refillable packages for the fear goo. You know, your kids are going to be like, Mom, Mom, let's go to Walmart. I got it. I was like, okay, honey, we can get some groceries. Oh, and you can refill on your Asnot's doll's fear goo. 
You know, that, 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 that's something you need to do, honey, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have him dripping some fear goo here. Going to have a little, little puddle of the goo gathering down here. Oh, by the way, with the edges of this, I actually have special tape. I have, uh, like, like blue scotch tape that I found at my store, which I'm actually going to be lining this whole thing with, so that'll cover up these little markers here. I want this thing to look semi-professional. I'm a perfectionist. You know, I, like, the second I made the Sternritter logo, I'm like, ah, shit, it started off all big on this side, and now this side is so tiny. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do, and these stars look like shit, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so there's Azzy. I think the, a the S has a... Oh, shit, I already messed this up. Oh, well, whatever. The fear. That says fear, right? Yeah, sure. I have to do quotations there. Now I have to do quotations. See, like I said, perfectionist. Shit, now I, I did double quotations for that. Now I have to do quotations for these, too. Great. The fear. As not. All right, what's next? EFG. All right, Lelotto Lampert. Um, hers, I'm gonna color in, I think her color, I know her hair is, um, like a tintish yellow, so I'm gonna, like a greenish yellow, so I'm gonna just gonna go green for her, because yellow's obviously gonna be Candace Catnip. Um, now for, you know, she, hers was a little bit confusing at first, I didn't know exactly how stylized I'm gonna do that. Then I started thinking, like, well, um, I had a design plan where I was gonna basically put, like, a mouth inside of the G, like it's chewing, and I'm thinking, I, every time I tried that, I'm like, wow, that's not a lot of space for me to work with, but then I started thinking, he's like, wait a second, Loloto is the G, I mean, I'm the glutton, so if I really wanted to, I could make this really freaking big here, or, or disproportionate, and it would work, because that's just her ability, because it's like a fat G there, so we have our fat G there, then I'm going to color this in green. Look like a tintish green. That's about her color. I, I think her hair is blonde, but, you know, I think it's uh, it's blonde, but I can't use yellow, obviously, because that's Candace. So let's just go with the green color. You know, whatever. She's going to die soon anyway. Probably. Hope so. Yeah, so she um she has a neat ability. I didn't, uh, didn't expect her in being like the tactician of that little group there. That's basically what she is. Uh, because she was the one that was, like, like clever enough. She, like, she'd read her homework. Like, she's the only Sturmrider that did her homework in the Wanden clique. She was like, hey, guys, that's Ichigo fucking Kurosaki. Like, really? I didn't know what that guy looks like. Still, you haw you think you could have gotten a, uh, freaking, you know, picture of Ichigo fucking Kurosaki to give to your men so they know who the one they're freaking attacking. The glutton. And help me out on the spelling here, Litoto Lampert. I should put Litoto Lolly Lampert, because that's basically what she's for. And now, I'm just going to make sure it's a little dry there. And then we're going to do a little bit of this. Going to draw this, and there we go. See, little munchy, little munchy guy here. He's, he's munching, he's eating. Don't bother him, he'll bite your freaking finger off. Okay, so we're up to, it's a little bit crooked, but I think so far we're good. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So that's, um, that's one, two, three, four, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could fit like 11 on this line. Yeah, I expected them to be a lot bigger, but, um, all right, I might, I might, okay, you know what? If I can't end up using the whole thing, I'll shove something at the very bottom or some shit. I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, so H is next, right? Basby. Basby's a fun one. I know what I'm going to do for Basby. Let me start spacing these out a little bit more here, because Basby's is going to kind of take up take up some room. <laughs> All right, Basby, here we go. Now, for Basby, I was just going to draw it in fire. Wait, A, B, C, E, F, G, H. Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm paranoid that I'm going to skip over a letter. I just, I know it's going to happen. So, with Basby's, I was just going to draw them in fire, but I think the better way for me to do this is to do it kind of like the fire spectrum. Uh, you know, because fire, you know, has a different spectrum of how it works there, so... When I start off with blue at the very bottom here, now that fruit fly is going to be the bane of my existence. How long we've we been going on for? Or 15 minutes? It seems longer than that. So we start off with blue, and then we're going to. Uh, I have my notes here. We're going to red next. I do not have a red freaking marker. Are you fucking kidding me? I seriously don't. Are you fucking? All right, whatever. We'll work with. I can't believe I don't have a single red marker in here. Are you serious? I have this. I have this dry erased one, but I don't know if that'll work. Damn it. I bought a shit ton of markers today, and I did not get red. All right, I guess that kind of works. All right, what's, how many do I need? Uh, three more after this. Okay, so I'll keep it going like this. 
red. And that's good because it, because it gives it like a flame impression too. So that works, I suppose. All right, H. Uh, okay, so what's next? Orange is next. I have an orange one. Okay. I think orange is the largest one of the spectrum too. So let's just throw that in there. Sup, fly. What's going on? Okay, and then yellow. I don't know if this is the actual flame spectrum. This is just something I found off the internet. I typed in fire spectrum in Google and I got that. And then white is at the very top there. So for the rest of this, let's just uh, yeah, let's just uh, set them up in a blazing like this. Just gonna bask in a light of orange here, surrounding him. And I was going to have the entire outer as red, but I don't know if I can, you know, I'll do red, I'll screw it. There should be enough in here. If not, if not, I'll get it, I'll touch it up later if I have to. Oh, you gotta be fucking, screw you, past Matthew, for putting it in backwards. I hate that asshole. I can't tell you how many times that asshole screwed me over in my life, past Matthew. All right, here we go, there we go. He's the, bringing the heat, baby, bringing the heat. Yeah, he's taking up a lot of room, but he's he's a big deal. He's kind of a big deal, so it's cool. That looks like devil horns, kind of. Oh, I should, you know what I should do? I should put this, like, right, this one thing right up here because of his mohawk. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. There we are. Let's see, where's my pen at? There we go. The... Oh, you're running out of ink now. Fucking series. There we go. The heat. And the guy's so cool. I'm gonna write them all in let uh, uppercase letters there. Baz B, which you can barely see on the camera, but trust me, it's in it's in uppercase. All right, I is next. Kang Du. How about you, Kang Du? What's up with you? Are you dead? Are you alive? I don't know, bro. All right, so for him, I found this little metallic silver thing we're gonna use. It's technically a pen, but you know, whatever. We can, we can fill this in here. Adds a little bit of shine to him. Da -da -da. So yeah, Kang Du was, um, he was in my, like, I don't know. He, he looked like he was a more big deal when he was, when he showed up. When he fought against Toshiro the first time, I was like, shit, this guy's like badass, because like, bad space ass, because he's got, like, the Wolverine claws, and he just seems like the kind of, like, he's, like, 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 just his expression is very, like, I'm gonna just, you know, I'm the stoic, stoic, not stoic, sounds weird to me still, the stoic character that's just gonna kill you and not give a shit, you know, kind of like how Biakia was at the beginning of the series, he kind of gave me that vibe, but uh, then he, you know, he kind of, kind of asked to kick by Toshiro the second time, and then after that, well, you know what happened, he, uh, he kind of got killed by... Yuha or reabsorbed or however that works. I don't know. Okay, this is gonna be a long ass video because we're not even halfway through the freaking alphabet yet. I'm about to break this up into two. All right, so then we're up to these. I'm just gonna dot these up here like they're like a, you know ironworks or whatever. All right, and there's I right there. Nice and simple, dirt cheap. Okay, the iron. Kang Du, which is actually Chinese. In fact, that ability he used against Toshiro, the only time he used an ability of his own ability against Toshiro was that, like, Zheng Shan Chu. It was like, it was in Japanese. It was Chinese. That's our start start Chinese. J H I K. J is next. All right. My buddy Ker Hey, or Quill Hey, however you want to do that. His is also going to be pretty simple. We're just going to draw a J. I messed this up already, so let's do an extension here. I'm going to color this in, so... It's okay. I didn't mess up. What do you mean I messed up? Shut up! Shut the fuck up, guys! Shut up! Let's see here. Ah, uh, shit. I was going to use gray for this, but I don't... I don't want to use gray right next to Kang, so... I don't know. Um... Let's see. What color can we use for this? Um, I'm not sure what we could use for this. You know what? I'll just use black too. That'll work out. Uh, I should have given I should have given this more space. Oh well, my bad. Whatever, guys. Just whatever. 
Locked up in jail, bitch. There we go. There we go. Kachink. His ability actually was pretty damn cool, except for the fact he used that once, and then, you know, he got one-shotted by... I don't know who killed him. I have no idea who killed this guy. Totally ain't gonna be Grimjaw. It will be Grimjaw. I, I will be so surprised. Alright, and then we have BG9, though, unfortunately, I have no fucking idea how his power is, what he does, or, you know, anything outside of him just being a fucking robot, so, you know, whatever, I guess I'll, um, you know, I'll just leave him blank or whatever, I don't know how his power is gonna work out later on, so I'm just gonna leave that one blank just for the sake of, I don't know what it's gonna be, BG9, fill this in, you know, whatever that's gonna be there. And then we can move to the second line, finally. So I managed to fit three, six, nine, 12. Okay, so if we keep it the same way, 12, 24, two on this line here. I guess I could fill in the bottom of whatever. I'll, I'll leave the bottom blank. Let me know what, I, what you think I could fill in for the bottom. I could have had a lot more space to work with knowing this, but I guess I just planned this out wrong. Um... All right, so by that logic, I should have left C and D blank, too, because I don't know what their powers are going to indicate, so I'll just work with that. Yeah, shit, what if C really is the cold? Then I was going to draw, like, in green and in, in blue and then freeze it over. Oh, whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll have to figure it out, okay? I'll just figure it out later. All right, so for that reason, we now got a huge fucking blank spot here. We got L. No idea what that's going to do. And then we got M. It's kind of a messed up M, but whatever, considering... Oh, God, look at that M. That's so bent out of shape. It's freaking, like, it's like I, I've never drawn an M before in my life. I don't know anyone with name that has M in it. Fucking you. And then N. Call Nier in on this. He'll know what to do. All right. Mello's kicking me from his grave right now. Wait, did Mello die? Yes, Mello died. M, N. Okay. Um... Freaking, uh, what was his name? Freaking, uh, Driscoll. That's it, Driscoll, sorry. Yeah, Driscoll gave me a lot of fucking problems because his ability is so complicated and O is just a simplistic letter just being basically a circle. So we're going to draw a circle here, but we're going to make it a very thin circle because I did come up with an idea for it. All right, so that's a circle. That's an O. I'm going to take my pen here, and I, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to draw a little stick figure guy in the center of this. And this poor little stick figure guy is going to get fucked from 15 different angles because then I'm going to be drawing, like, all this different cavalcade of weaponry, like a sword. I'm going to get a spear in here. Maybe some arrows. Ironic, since he's Quincy, I'm just going to throw some arrows getting chucked at this poor guy. Maybe that, that's more of a halberd. Let's throw in, like, an actual spear. We got room. Yeah, throw an actual spear at him there. Uh, how about some throwing stars? Can we get some throwing stars, too? Some ninja throwing stars and Naruto universe broken from there. Uh, not to outshine Candace, but let's get some lightning bolts headed toward this guy. And then let's throw some fireballs, you know, whatever. Fifth level fireballs, you know. go ahead. Those wizards kick ass, man. Just got to train them up right. And then, uh, okay, what else can we throw at this poor son of a bitch? Oh, Thor's hammer. Yeah, let's throw a freaking Mjolnir at him. Mjolnir. He's like, he's like, you shall fall! And then, uh, and then, um, I guess, uh, uh, now I'm thinking to the Avengers. Okay, we got Hawkeye. Let's throw some bullets in there. Some just random bullets heading his way. And then, uh, the Hulk's fist. The Hulk, just about to punch him in the face. And I'll throw some veins on the Hulk there. There we go. There's the overkill right there. I don't know if you could see that that well. There you go. Hold on. There we go. Look at that poor guy. That guy, that guy is so fucking dead. <laughs> okay. So we got the overkill. Driscoll. Bessie. All right. Moving on. Uh, we got Meninus. Meninus McAllen. Okay. For the P. Give her a little space for the P here. Alright, and for the P, what I'm going to do, I'm debating how to do this. Well, first off, let me draw what I was going to draw here. I'm going to draw a flag because she's basically Power Girl, so I'm going to give her the P. And you know what? I'm going to... Mm, how am I going to do this? I can... Uh, since we have the red marker now, I guess I could do that. I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I'm going to make red. Actually, yeah, the one after this I'm going to have red in it, so... 
So yeah, let's just do this. Let's just take the P here. And let's give her a heart. Let's give her a heart for the P. And then after that, I'm going to take a little bit of this violet here. Draw a big freaking circle. And then draw another heart in that one. There we go. She's... She's so happy and lovable, and she she's actually really kind of a bitch. She kind of is. She always has that same expression on her face. She doesn't really do much. The power, which the power can indicate any number of things. So don't I don't think she's just limited to, um, like punching things really hard. I mean that, that could be anything really. Menius McAllen, the P, the power. Got the power, the power glove. All right. Next up is Q. Now this is one of the two Stern Raiders. That, you know, Kenpachi owned in that one chapter that we literally know next to nothing about. Um, and I know a lot of your people saying, well, no, he killed three. Yeah, he did. But the one he did kill was Lloyd, Ro Lloyd, Lloyd. And we know all about um, roids, so we know how their power works. So it's like his power was later explained in uh, Yamato Yamamoto's battle with Roid. So, uh, we only um, the, the, the Q and the R are the ones that we really don't have anything to know about uh, other than just their basic abilities. So, uh, Bernice Gabriele had the ability of the question. And this ability was basically self-doubt inducement. And, uh, yeah, she was kind of, uh, she was an interesting character. I liked her design from what little we got of it. And somebody, uh, her hair, I remember, had one single spike, like one little spark of a different color. And, of course, it's manga, so we don't know what color it was. Uh, but just for the sake of my school colors, and the fact I've always liked this combination, we're going to give uh, that color red. So her hair is, let's just say her hair is black. And then I'm just going to draw a little spark of red right down where the Q, where that little cross section of the Q meets. And I think that'll do us good. And then I think I'm going to draw a big, big Riddler question mark right in the center there. The question. Okay, so there's that. These fumes are really starting to get to me, by the way, in case you're curious. Yeah, my skull colors were red and black. You think that's weird? Uh, my skull's mascot was actually the fucking devil. Yeah, we just kind of worship the devil, and we do the pitchfork sign up at, you know, baseball games and everything. So, you know, that's how that goes. And I think that'll be good enough for her. All right. Uh, let's see. The question. Bernice Gabriele. Very biblical name, Gabriele. Okay, Q R S T U. Actually, Q R S T. I don't want. Hmm. I really wanted. Uh, you know what? Fuck him. It's cool. It's cool. I was gonna say I wanted more space for V, but you know, screw him. I don't care. Q R. Okay, R is next. Now R is the second Stern Raider that Kampachi owned in that one chapter. Damn Kampachi, you gotta start. You gotta stop doing that, man. You gotta start taking those kills because they're really starting to bug me. Now we don't. They kill it. Damn it, not yet. We didn't uh, get a lot about um, Jerome Geisbat's abilities, other than the fact that he turns into like a giant ape-like creature and that he is the roar. So for what we know little about him, I'm gonna draw a little fangs here. Like a mouth sort of deal. That looks like a mouth, right? Like those are his teeth, you know? Those are his teeth right there. And then, because I'm really just out of fucking ideas, I'm just going to go with... Um, I've been swearing a lot in this video. I apologize. Is there any darker blue than this? I do. Okay, let's just for some diversity. And then, let's do something like this. Just like a simple volume, you know, symbol like you'd see on your, like, iPhone or some shit. Yeah, this, this marker is almost freaking out of juice. There we go. See the roar, the roar. I'll put it. I'll, I'll put a picture up after this, to guys, to show you guys my amazing artistic talents. After this is all over. All right. The roar. Jerome, guys, bet. So yeah. In memoriam to freaking Bernice and Jerome. All right, so QRS. Oh, he's going to be fun. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to draw a relatively small S. Uh, S is always I hate to draw in box because I always fuck it up inevitably. Do I do it? Eh, it's a little bit of a wonky S, but whatever it'll have to do. Because we're going to draw a star because he is the superstar after all. 
Well, he's certainly something. That's kind of a wonky star, but whatever. We can make it work. All right, so... Um, I'm going to make his inside light blue, and then I'll draw the outside in purple. Why? Because you can't think... Well, actually, no, I might do yellow. Yeah, let's do yellow, just for, you know, we did purple with, uh, with uh, Jerome right next to him, like a darker shade of blue-purple, so let's just do yellow for him. He's the superstar, after all. All right, so yeah. Some people have actually questioned whether uh, Master Masculine was, in fact, Stern Raider S, or if it was James, because you figure Yuha gives the Stern Raiders, or at least it seemed in Asnot's case, they gave him the powers to overcome what they weren't. Asnot could not overcome his fear, so he gave him the power of the fear uh, to basically control it. Now, in James' case, James is like a little pudgy doughboy, so you figure he wants to be super strong. He wants to be the guy that beats everybody up. So, you know, uh, he gave him the power of the superstar in order to overcome that. We're actually going to draw James over here. Give him a little bit of... Give him his little dorky little glasses he wears there. It's not a very good interpretation of James, but whatever. I'll draw him cheering, whatever. Go, superstar. I, I, I wrote superstar with an a, with a S-U-P-A, by the way. So, you know, that's how that goes. Superstar! Alright. The superstar. Now, who, like, if you all like, absorbs the power after they die, who can imagine freaking you all stripping down in, like, a thong and then, like, posing like freaking, you know, Colonel freaking Armstrong from uh, Full Metal Alchemist? Because I don't want to. Uh, mass Day Masculine. Okay, S. Uh, T! Alright, this bitch. S-Q-R-S-T. Alright, oh, and I'm gonna make this next one yellow anyway, so I kind of screwed that up. Oh, uh, wait, what am I doing? No, no, we have to start with yellow. We have to start with the basic. We have to start with that. Uh, I'm gonna give, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over a little bit here, because Lightning Bolt, this one, eh, I'm probably gonna screw this one up royally. T... You notice also this is the only one I'm really changing in terms of the overall format. Like these ones, I'm all like normal normal letters, and then I just draw around or inside them. With Candace, I'm actually drawing the letter differently. So yeah, black and yellow. This is gonna go over great. Yeah. Whoever was disappointed by that one was there. They were kids. Yeah. You know, if you draw with black and then you immediately cover it with yellow, and then it gets you know, your black marker, your yellow marker all black and T. The Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. This is going to work. All right, cool. The Thunderbolt. Pikachu would be proud. She should have a Pikachu. What's your favorite electrical Pokemon? I like, um, I like Ampharos. Ampharos is pretty cool. Turn him into a dragon in Gen 6. That was pretty cool. Candice Cutnip. Oh, and uh, speaking of, like, which ones are dead, I'm actually going to draw, like, a red X next to the ones. Like, Asnot's going to be like, eh, you're dead. Uh, Jerome, eh, you're dead. Bernice, you're dead. So, you know, that's how that goes. Next up is... na 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 mark down here you don't need actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this that looks kind of stupid let's do this and then let's just color it in. screw it screw it i don't care what his power is if it's the understand i'll draw something in the middle because you know who cares about this guy that guy dresses like for you know oh you know what i could do um oh shit i might have messed this up oh no wait i think i could i think i could salvage this okay we can we can do this yeah to uh, kind of call back his weird freaking teeth, I'll do this. Ha! Huh, I can salvage that. See, I'm coming up with ideas as we go. It's very hot in this room right now, by the way, because I had to turn on my air conditioner so we could film without it being interrupting here, without that noise in the background. How long have we been going? Uh, 36 minutes. That's actually a lot quicker than I thought. Okay, white, black, white, black, white, black. There we go. That kind of resembles his teeth, sort of. Yeah, I'm still filming. Cool. This ruby red is a Fiesta. Sweet. My mom's buying a car, by the way. That's why she's doing that. You. Okay, so V, W, X, Y, and Z. So uh, V, W, X, Y, Z. So we got five. All right, so whatever. 
Uh, you know, we got five down here, and then I guess all this open space, we can work with this later. You know, how that works. Okay, let me pull this freaking table in a little bit closer so I have more work, room to work on. All right. Now we come to this guy. Oh, man. I'm going to draw a big freak. Now, we really, honestly, could have any number of things we can draw for him because of his powers, just indicative ability. But considering the fact, I was going to say considering the fact we have so much limited space to work with, but now we have this is like the first ones, the first like 24 are so scrunched together. And these last five are just going to be like, boom, 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 boom. Um, what we're going to do with Grammy is this. First up, we're going to make him a rainbow. You know how that goes. Rainbow! Pink, and then violet. This is generally how a rainbow goes, by the way. There is a set path in the light spectrum. Okay. Oh, that's cool. They're kind of like bleeding together there, so that kind of gives it even more of a symbol of a rainbow. So yeah, rainbow, you know, it, it inspires imagination, you know, since antiquity. You know, pee little... You know, Stone Age culture, the people looking up, seeing like, what the hell's that, Dad? I'm like, I don't know, son. That's just that random thing that appears in the sky sometimes. I think it might want to kill us all. Just don't make sure, be sure to make it, not make it angry. Okay, Dad. <laughs> ah, primitives. All right, so we got, we got four more. Okay. Next up is green. Mm, this isn't really, uh, I think I have a different shade of green. I have a darker shade of green I can use for this. Yeah, let's use this one. And then we have yellow. I might not be exactly right here. I'm going off of a... Um, I used an image of the rainbow for a uh, video. It actually was in Grammy. I used like that, uh, you know, Spongebob, like, imagination kind of thing. And I had a rainbow there. That's where I got these colors from, so... I don't know if they're exactly what they are in an actual rainbow, but, you know, whatever. Orange. And then finishing up with red, the marker that is the, the prodigal sun that has returned. Red, yay. Okay. Sorry, brown. You're not cool enough to be in the, to be in the rainbow. Actually, I don't think I've used brown at all this entire time. No, I have not. All right, so... We have that, and then we're going to draw... So we have all this fucking space to work with now, apparently. We're going to draw, like, a big freaking thought bubble. There we go. There we go, the V. And I might as well just... Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> and I might as well just have fun with it. The V. Visionary. And with this one design, Grammy, I have now officially done more cool things with your power than you ever could. Did I spell your last name right? I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, so there you go, Grammy. Congratulations there, buddy. W next. All right. Which I think is going to be Colonel Sanders Quincy. I think we're going to go with, uh, you know, the W route with him. Why am I not giving this any space to breathe? I have no idea. Okay, this is going to be a very blocky W. Or maybe not. I don't know. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's a great W, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like a fucking... just looks like three fingers just standing up. I don't know. All right, um, W. X shouldn't be that difficult. X, uh, which I think is going to be Shaz Domino. and Because there's really only one thing that X could be, and that's going to be the X-ray, because really you can't think of any other... Shit, I screwed up on this one, too. Look at this. Crap. <laughs> all right, all right, we gotta salvage this. This one, that looks pretty damn bad right there. That looks, that looks fucked up. I'm like, okay. Uh, <laughs> looks like the X broke a leg. <laughs> um, shit. All right, I'm. You know I'm getting tired because I'm getting sloppy on having to draw a fucking X. Um, all right. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're almost done. I'm not gonna get that too caught up with it. Let's. We don't know about those guys yet, anyway. They're they, they're blank slates. We don't know. So let's move on to why. Why, Matt? Try not to screw this up. It's a freaking why. We're gonna draw two things up here, and then we're gonna draw this. Yay! Why? 
And then next to that, we're going to draw another one. And then next to that, lower, we're going to draw yet another one. And you see where I'm going with this, guys? The ones out there that read the manga do. All right, we're going to draw a little bit of that. And then, yeah, we'll just continue, continue off. And then, of course, I still need room for the Z. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to draw on each of the individual eyes here. We're going to draw the, uh, I mean, the individual, the uh, main Y. We're going to draw these guys, the, uh, the, the, the eye symbol of the Lloyd household, Lloyd and Lloyd Lloyd. Because, you know, there's two people that take it up, so, you know, that's how that goes. The yourself. Okay, now it's, I'm trying to think, okay. Lloyd, L-O-Y-D, and then Royd. And then their last name is the spelled regular way with L-L-O-Y-D. All right, so Royd, Lloyd, Royd, Lloyd, Lloyd. <laughs> I would, if, if, I, if I grew up at like the age of five and like my parents like were trying to teach me how to spell my name, I would just grab a piece of freaking barbed wire and just strangle them because yeah, that's, you don't do that. That's like my last name is Crawford. You know, they didn't name me like Cry. They didn't name me something like with the, with the, the exact same sounding thing. Just because your last name uh, is a first, it could be a first name, doesn't mean you make it the first name. Like, my last name was Smith. Don't name me Smith Smith. Okay, come on, people. All right, so finally, we're almost done. We have one more left. Here we go with this thing. I can't really say any specific gender at the moment, given... Well, you know what happens. That's kind of a very slanty Z, but, you know, whatever. All right, so for this one, we're going to do a little bit of this. First, we're going to color it green. And uh, we're going to go crazy from there. This is a much more pale green, but, you know, it's kind of the same thing as Lelotos, but, you know, yeah, I'm going to do more stuff with it than just color it green, so wait till we color it green. That's just the base of what we're going to do. And, yeah. And while we wait for that to dry, uh, just to be cute, I'm going to draw I'm gonna draw Candace, uh, I mean, Gazelle's little X buddy up there that she had when she, her uh, highly profile arrow made the little X shape buddy. I'm just going to draw him right there. And now that that's probably a little bit dry, we're going to draw some blood splotches here and here. A little bit here. We're going to have this one dripping. A little bit here. We got a little pile of blood down here like we did with Asnot with the fear goo. And then we're going to draw kind of like an exposed rim cage. Like some stitches. I was going to say exposed rib cage, but you can't really do that with green and white. So let's just do like some stitches here. Stitches right here. Uh, like some Frankenstein-esque thing. There we go. That that's looking good. That's a zombie. That's the that's a, what, is this a zombie? <laughs> the zombie. George A. Romero would be proud. Gasell Guell. Alright, there we go. Well, we did it, guys. There's the Stern Ritters right there. Let me just let me just back up this a little bit. Let me just ah. There we go. All right. Ah. There we go. Trying to get this in frame. There we are. So, yeah, that's that right there. That's the entire thing. Uh, I'm going to be putting this up in my videos, and I'm going to do, do some touch-up work for this. But as you can see, I kind of, uh, you know, it's best to do it, I guess, this way because I was afraid of not having enough room at all. You know, how sucky would it be if we, you know, get to the end of you and we're already, like, down here and we're like, ah, shit, we got to cram in all these down here. So at least... More room than less room. I guess that's the best way to look at it. Um, let me know if you have any ideas what to put down here. Like, uh, I guess I guess what I could do, really, is I could take out... Like, I could print out little chibis of them. Because I know that chibi stern... They, they exist. It's the internet. It's DeviantArt. This is a thing. And I could print out little chibis of all the stern writers and just lay them down in a big row on the bottom here. Uh, you know, and I could maybe draw, like, like tombstones over the ones... That, oh, a tombstone! I could do that for Z. I could put, like, a little tombstone on top of it. All right, we'll add that. All right, well, anyway, uh, this video's been going on way longer, 45 fucking minutes. So, uh, you know, 
Thank you for watching me do my artistic talent. I'm going to touch this up a little bit. Uh, yeah, so Techie101 signing out. See you guys.